from a huge chicken freaking out the internet to a gigantic man-eating python. This is Trending Tuesdays. Not easy being green. The Gulf of Oman connects the Arabian Sea with the Strait of Hormuz, and twice a year, it turns green. It has nothing to do with St. Patrick's Day, though. It's the result of an algae bloom that spreads across the Arabian Sea all the way to India and encompasses an area the size of Mexico. Swarms of the microscopic organisms have increased over the past three decades and can form huge murky shapes that are detected by satellites. While the formations can appear beautiful, Experts say that algae blooms can be as thick as guacamole and creates toxins which destroys local ecosystems and endangers marine life, including whales, fish, and dolphins. Such effects have been felt in the Gulf of Oman, where researchers say the blooms are growing bigger and are likely to continue at an accelerated pace. Fluorescent frog. An amazing amphibian was located recently in Argentina. A polka dot tree frog appears to have a dull brownish green coloration under normal light. But when placed under ultraviolet light, the critter glows bright green. While fluorescent skin pigments are not uncommon with certain jellyfish or anglerfish, the trait is considered a rare occurrence in terrestrial animals. Experts say the chemical that produces the frog's fluorescence has never been seen before, but the ability can boost the frog's brightness by nearly 30%, and depending upon the level of ambient light, they can emit nearly 18% as much visible light as a full moon. That would likely help it see in darkest night, so what would you call this critter? King Bear. Now that is a reference to a huge polar bear that has been reported by Inuits and other indigenous tribes, and also appears in the folklore and mythology. But the creature may have some basis in fact. The skull of an enormous polar bear was found near the Walakpa archaeological site in Alaska, and is said to measure around 16 inches from nose to back. While it resembles modern-day polar bears, its back is more elongated than those of its counterparts. Experts are theorizing that the skull might represent some previously unknown subspecies that might still exist in the Arctic region. Although the animal skull has been dated to around 1300 years old, researchers still don't know exactly how big this creature might have been. The legendary king bear, or weasel bear, was said to measure around 12 feet long. The modern day polar bears can measure nearly 10 feet long and weigh over 1500 pounds. Arachnid Alert. Now, for those of you who think there are simply not enough scary spiders in the world, rejoice! Three new species of tarantula were recently discovered in South America. The huge bird-eating spiders can measure over six inches long and are tree-dwelling critters that also consume prey like insects and bats. The furry monsters were found in Peru, Brazil, and Ecuador. Tarantulas belong to a group of spiders called melagomorphs or arachnids that have heavy bodies. Did you know that they became known as bird-eating spiders after an 18th century engraving feeding on a bird? lost and possibly found. The Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine, is a species of marsupial that is thought to be extinct. The last known specimen died at the Hobart Zoo in Tasmania in 1936, or so it is believed. Hundreds of sightings of the apex predator have been reported in the decades since, but as yet there have been no confirmed sightings. But recently, two accounts matching the animal's description have been accepted by experts as being detailed and plausible. Their quotes. Both both sightings are said to have occurred in separate locations of far north Queensland. One witness said he saw several animals that matched the description of the Tasmanian tiger, right down to the tan coats and stripes on the sides. The other witness gave a similar account and said he saw a pack of the critters in the remote location. Now, researchers from James Cook University plan to launch a full-on search for thylacine. More than 50 high-tech baited traps will be set up in the areas where the sightings took place. 
man eater. Now, just so you know, some viewer discretion might be advised with this story. Now, you've heard that term man eater applied to many beasts. Well, here is a critter that more than lived up to the title. After a man went missing in Sulawesi, Indonesia, his friends found a massive reticulated python sprawled out in his garden the next evening. Although huge might be an understatement in this case, the creature was estimated at nearly 23 feet long, although that is unconfirmed. After becoming concerned the huge reptile may have swallowed him, locals took an 18-inch hunting knife and sliced open the snake's belly. Unfortunately, the fears were confirmed. Footage showed the gruesome process as the python's skin was peeled away and the corpse was removed. The 25-year-old man had been suffocated and then swallowed whole by the beast. Big Bird. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I was gonna end the episode with that snake story, but that's kind of a downer and I'd rather go out on a cheery note. So here's a chicken you might be checking off. With more than 80 million views, you might be one of the many people who saw this critter online in a viral video and just did not believe your eyes. Because a lot of people thought the creature was some sort of special effects work, like a fella in a costume, but this critter is pure poultry. Its name is Marakli, I think that's how you pronounce it, and the footage was shot shot on a farm in Kosovo. Now this is actually a big breed called Brahma chicken. The breed was actually developed in the US from fowls that were imported from China, but there is some dispute about its true origins. But no one can dispute the title of king of all poultry. We found where they can weigh anywhere from 12 to 18 pounds. Big clucker. This is Trending Tuesdays.